the birds, yeah. Not only is it a bird, but it's also for the birds. See what I did there? It's a bird, but it's also for the birds because it's a bird house. Ha ha! It's a bird shaped bird house. This is from Evergreen. These are painted portly bird houses. Now, portly is a polite word for chubby, kind of like me. Yeah, exactly. So, what we're talking about is a portly bird house. Now, Tonight, we're going to show you that these are both indoor and outdoor safe. Obviously, you're using them outdoors. You're going to find little feathered friends utilizing the hole in the front here so you can put bird seed inside, or maybe that's where they'll seek refuge from the storm. Maybe that's where they'll build a nest. Who knows? They come with a little hanging chain and a hook. So these can be suspended outdoors from a tree, from a hook on your front porch, wherever. Now, they're all made to withstand the elements. So you can use them indoors as a decorative piece or outdoors as a functional birdhouse. Now this swan is brand new today. I also have the heron. Hope I'm saying that correctly. The cardinal. Love our cardinal, isn't he great? This is the finch. This is the bluebird. And finally, this is the dodo bird. Over 10,000 ordered this season. They are sale priced at $25.72. They're also on three easy payments tonight and free shipping and handling. I love these. They're about 10 inches by 8 and 3 quarters by 9 and a quarter inches, and they are absolutely charming, functional, colorful, and will add that certain amount of whimsy to your garden and your home area. Let's invite in one of our outdoor specialists, Ginger Walt, who's joining us to tell us more about this great <laughs> item. Miss Ginger, I Hi, have to babe. say, all of these choices have already stolen my heart. They're adorable. I'm telling you what, it would be difficult for me to choose if I had to. Thank goodness. I, I haven't displayed all of mine because I am using two of them out in my garden. These have been a hit for so many years and every year we keep adding on to our lineup. You saw that beautiful, actually the dodo was one of the newer ones too last year, but then you saw that swan. And you know the swans, there's a little story, swans have one mate for life, which is a dear story. If you want to maybe give one as a gift to someone as an anniversary gift. And you know, everyone that I know loves to watch the bird. These are going to hold quite real, quite a bit of real estate on the inside, David, because they're all hollow on the inside. They're made out of a polystone, but they're super durable, hand painted, which is why you're getting that exquisite design and UV protected. So most people think these are just too darling to put outside. Mm. But believe me, I've had mine out for over five years now. They're just as gorgeous as the day that I put them out. But for those of you who love to collect maybe little birdhouses and put them in your home, this is a darling one because it's flat on the bottom. You can put it on a bookshelf or tuck it away into your, your little, um, like on a, a fireplace mantle, and it's just darling. Well, I can tell you that we have lots of choices, but one is racing out to an early lead. Can you guess which one it is, Ginger? All right, Ginger, I'll give you a little hint. He's red yes. and has black on his face. The Cardinal is the most popular. The Cardinal. Now, one thing well, that we need to remember about the Cardinal, yeah. it's been said that when a Cardinal appears in your yard, it's a departed yep. loved one who's there to let you know that everything's going to be okay and that they're watching out for yep. you. And I know that so yep. many of us believe, you know, my buddy uh, Jane Tracy does um, her cardinal blessings on Instagram, and she many times will right. snap a photo of a cardinal when she sees it on her property because she very definitely believes in that as well. Now, our swan is brand new, so this is brand <laughs> new today. We also, am I saying this correctly? Is it, is it heron? A heron, a blue heron. A heron, so, heron, rather. There yeah, we go. A blue heron. Just adorable, and if you have ever had the uh, the opportunity to see them outside, you know, if you live maybe down south, they're beautiful birds. Of course, that cardinal state bird for myself. I'm from Indiana, and you know, shout out to my family there from Indiana. But we also do the same thing that that uh, many of you do is you think of a loved one when you see a beautiful cardinal and flying. And Ginger, let me say that in that cardinal choice, we have fewer than 600 remaining. Cardinal is also the state bird of North Carolina. Yes, where yes, I'm from. It is. It's actually the That's state bird right. for a handful of states. I want to so say many. it's also, yeah. the, I think it's the state bird in Ohio as well. 
<laughs> right. um, now, this is the finch, the yellow finch. Yep. That, mm -hmm. And then blue birds smiling at me. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally, now, the one I have a little kinship to, the dodo bird. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now that that dodo bird, we kind of put like a little mix match of all kinds of colorful. We call it our like little tropical bird. Um, if you were to really look up a dodo bird, it's not quite <laughs> looking exactly <laughs> like that one, but that's okay. We took dodo some creative liberties not. with him. Exactly. Yes, we did. We did. But it's bright and cheerful. Now, some of you have asked what kind of birds are going to be attracted to this. Um, because of that opening, it's only about two inches. You're going to get those wrens, the, of course, the finches the chickadees, um, some of the smaller type birds. And when they do make a nest in it, I, there's a clean out hole underneath on the very bottom. But David, I don't even touch it. I let it be because the birds come, they clean it out themselves or they'll use the nesting from another bird and make their nest year after year after year. So I just leave mine in my tree and just don't even bother it. Now, is this a little girl you know very well? It is. That's my little girl, my <laughs> darling girl. She was about four years old. Uh, she's eight now. So she was about four years old, and she's my little helper out in the garden. So anything, you know, that, uh, that I'm doing, she wants to be doing. And we were having a fun day out gardening during that, that little picture, and I had to snap a little, little photo of her. And oh, my of goodness. Course, the cardinal, I'm, they grow up so fast, I'll tell you well, what. Well, <laughs> it's true. Let me update you again on cardinal now, Ging, because in that cardinal, we have fewer than 200 remaining. So if you're interested in this cardinal, and we always find our cardinals are the most popular, they tend to go first. If you're looking to really welcome this spring with uh, a sense of new beginning or remembrance, because you have lost yeah. a loved one, I'll tell you, springtime this year, I think is gonna take a new meaning on for all of us, because we're really looking to springtime as a true new beginning and a, and a time of rebirth. And maybe it's also a time when you wanna remember a loved one passed, and that cardinal could be a lovely way to do that. Let's remind you of choices before we wrap up. Brand new tonight is our swan. Then we have the blue heron. Yep. Now our cardinal is last call. So if you want cardinal, it's now last call. This is the finch. Mm -hmm. Finally, the blue, uh, not finally, but the blue, uh, the bluebird. Fewer than 300 in our bluebird. And finally, our dodo bird. 300 <laughs> left in the dodo bird. $25.72. <laughs> Important to remember that we are able to send these to you right away. You can enjoy these outdoors, indoors, and they're flat bottoms, so they're great sit abouts as well. Yep. Cardinal just sold out, is that right? Okay, Cardinal is gone. Well, Ginger, it is great to have you back. Thank you for being here, my darling. Thank you, David. Great to see you, babe. Good to see Happy you as always. All right, we're going to check in with Allie, and she's going to tell us all about the Fitbit, how we're counting our steps, and a little bit more.